All right, so this is hip prep. It's gonna be four exercises. I'm gonna show all four movements back to back and talk it out. We're just gonna start with some squats. So down nice and slow, go to a depth that you feel comfortable with, and then back up. We wanna have a band above the knees. You can even hold for a second at the bottom. Just focus on nice and slow on the way down, hold for a second, and then come back up. So that was squats. Now we're gonna do some side steps in place. So we're gonna get into our ready base position, and now we're gonna take a step to the right, take a step to the left, that counts as one. Big focus here is keeping this good base position, keeping tension on the band. And just tapping, shifting our weight side to side. Now we're gonna do some cha-chas. I'm gonna demonstrate it first by keeping my weight on my left side. Now I'm gonna reach back and diagonally to the right. Just tap with my toe. Come back to starting position without anything moving. I like to think you want almost all your weight on this side. Just tapping an eggshell and don't break the egg. The rest of your body should stay pretty still and strong. We'll switch sides. The band wants to pull my knee in, so you're resisting that band, keeping a good position on this side. Last but not least, we're gonna do some monster walks. So you're going to reach forward, and then go this way, and that's going forward, and now you would just do the opposite, going backwards. So it's keeping tension in the band, and when you go to lift the leg, you're keeping it in the air, going nice and slow, performing the amount of reps forwards, and then going backwards. I'm only taking so many steps so that I stay in frame on camera. And that's hip prep. This is a lateral step down exercise. So now we're actually positioned on the step or on the box. We're reaching laterally with the other foot just tapping the toe or the heel, whichever one you prefer, the toe is gonna to be easier, and then returning the starting position. If you're doing this for the first time, a really good place to have your hands is on your hips, because as you reach down, also be mindful of this knee, right? You just saw it cave in a little bit, but I corrected for it. Having a good knee position, but also having a good hip and pelvis position. So as I lower down, I wanna keep my hips even and level. If it was a glass of water, I don't want it to tip and spill. Because if I just reach with my left foot, my left hand ends up getting lower than my right hand. So now I'm not being strong and stable more proximally, which can influence my knee position, right? This drops, look what happens to my right knee. So keep this level as you reach down, just tap an eggshell, don't break the egg, and then return the starting position. In this seated position, I have a band wrapped around my shin bone. And what I'm going to do is push against that band by straightening my leg. How I do that is activate the quads. So I'm really tightening up the quads and holding this position. And I'm just gonna hold this for as long as prescribed. And then slowly come back to the starting position. Make sure to not move your entire body as you do this exercise. Try to really focus on the motion coming from just the knee. I'm just gonna hold this position. So this is a Bulgarian split squat, also referred to as a rear foot elevated split squat. What I first showed is actually having my toes on the bench. You want your foot up on an elevated surface. However, you have two options. You can do it with the toe, or you can also do it with the laces down. Honestly, it's preference, and whatever doesn't give you any pain. However, we want to focus on 80% of your weight is on that front leg at least. Try not having too much weight on the back leg. Otherwise, you're gonna feel like you're really leaning back. You're gonna feel a really big stretch in the front of the leg. We're really focused on strengthening the hip and the knee muscles of the front leg. Sink down as low as you feel comfortable with that you can control. The lower you go, the more of a stretch you're going to feel and the harder the muscles are going to work.
Okay, so this is a dynamic side plank star position. So it kind of looks like a star position, but now we're moving the leg as we perform this exercise. A few notes to start with in order to have success with this exercise is your starting position. Make sure your right shoulder is, your right elbow is under your right shoulder. Don't have it too far away or too tucked in. This is really important as it's basically in the foundation to the exercise. Now, when you go to lift up in the air, you have to stay really strong through your right shoulder and through your right leg to keep this hip high in the air. Have your upper body be perpendicular to the ground. And now keep that left leg straight as you lift it and lower it back down. So in this exercise, I'm putting all my weight, all my engagement on my left side. So I'm putting everything here. I'm trying to ground myself into the ground. This band is trying to pull my knee in. I'm using my hip muscle and I'm pushing it out. I'm driving into the ground. My weight is kind of on the balls of my foot. I should feel like my quads engaged and my glutes engaged. Everything's nice and strong. With this other foot, I'm just going to be tapping out to the side. You can pretend that there's eggshells out to the side, so you can't actually put weight off it and smash it. It's literally just a tap. You notice that my hips stay squared facing you guys. You don't want the hips to open. If you're having a hard time with that, you can put both your hands here, and that kind of locks you, your hips down so you can actually can't move anymore. You can notice I'm not shifting any weight. I'm staying right over my left side, and I'm just tapping out, and I feel everything on this left side fully fired up and engaged. 